Hello and welcome to this tutorial that goes over the new multi-camera capabilities of Premiere Pro 2.0. As most of you are aware, Premiere Pro 2.0 ships with the capabilities of editing multi-camera content from four different sources. However, in order to reach the multi-camera interface, there are certain steps required. The first step of the process is to create a new sequence for each of your different sources. However, this is not a required step, but I highly recommend that you do so. The reason I recommend this step is because, for example, if you have 50 clips from one source, it's easier to club them into one sequence and then handle that camera angle as a sequence rather than handling them as 50 different clips. To create a new sequence, simply click on this button over here and select Sequence. I'm going to give it a name of Cam01, Cam02, Cam03 and cam 4 Once I create my four different sequences, I'm going to take my different images and place them on video track 1. So my first source goes onto video track 1 of the first sequence. My second image goes onto video track 1 of the second sequence. My third image goes onto video track 1 of the third sequence. My fourth image goes onto video track 1 of the fourth sequence. Once that's completed, I go ahead and create another new sequence and I call it multicam. In this multicam sequence, I take the different sequences that are created above and place them on different video tracks. I take my first sequence, place it on video track 1. I take my second sequence and place it on video track 2. I take my third sequence and place it on video track 3 and repeat the process for the fourth sequence. Once that's complete, I go ahead and create another new sequence. To create a new sequence, simply click on this button here and select Sequence. And give it a name of Final. In this final sequence, I take the multicam sequence that I created here and place it on video track 1. As soon as that's completed, I simply right click on this clip over here, go to multi camera, and hit Enable. As soon as I do that, you will notice two things. The first thing that you will notice is that the image over here has changed to the image as found on video track 1 of the multicam sequence. The second thing that you will notice is that this clip now has a prefix of MC1. MC1 essentially stands for camera angle 1, but how does Premiere Pro know which camera angle is which sequence? Well, if you go back to the multicam sequence, you will see that video track 1 holds camera angle 1, video track 2 holds camera angle 2, video track 3 holds camera angle 3, and video track 4 holds camera angle 4. Now if you go back to the final sequence and click on this little flyout menu here and select multi-camera monitor. As soon as you do that you will see the multi-camera interface. Now the left hand side represents your different sources and the right hand side represents your final source or the final program. To start editing this simply click on the record button and hit play. As soon as, that, as, soon as that's complete simply click on the images that you want and once that's complete I simply close the multi-camera monitor and go back to the timeline. You will see that all the different cuts have made it down to the timeline and all of these different cuts have different prefixes. MC1 stands for camera angle 1, MC2 for camera angle 2, MC3 for camera angle 3, and MC4 for camera angle 4. Now how do I fine tune these different edits? Well I'm just going to take my razor tool and chop off the first half of this first clip. Now suppose in this area I want camera angle 2, how would I go about doing that? Well to do that simply right click on this, go to multi camera and hit camera 2. Now you'll see that this clip now holds camera angle 2. Well that about covers up the basics of Premiere Pro 2.0's multi camera capabilities. Obviously Premiere Pro 2.0 is capable of doing a lot more in terms of this new function. Stay tuned for more advanced tutorials. Thanks for watching.